In today's video, I am sharing four reasons why I do not deliver raw files to my clients. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Yana Shellman. I am a wedding photographer in New Jersey and Philadelphia area. And as I have just mentioned, today I'm going to be sharing with you four reasons why I do not deliver raw files to my clients. And I will, will start with two that affect my client immediately, like the, the effect is definitely going to be on them, and then two extra reasons how it affects me, and so that will affect the cost for my client. So basically at the end, it all comes down to serving the client best and being like having the best interest for my clients. So number one, and sorry, I'm looking at my computer for my notes. So number one would be is that if I would deliver all of the raw files to my client, it would be extremely overwhelming for them to look at all of those photos. On an average wedding day, I take anywhere from 5,000 to 8,000 pictures. So um, I'm not sure of what is a normal thing for people to look at the photos but sometimes like scrolling through Facebook or like say Instagram it's 10 images if you would be looking at the carousel it's 10 images and I feel like that's the top of the like attention span for us right now that if you are going to look at the Facebook album and it's like 32 images the chances are you might not look through all of them and it can get very overwhelming for people to like keep scrolling and looking at the photos so can you imagine having 5,000 photos to look at which some of them are going to be blurry some of them are going to be uh, not properly exposed so either too dark or too bright some of them are going to be duplicates of the same thing because that's the way I'm working I always make sure to set my exposure correctly, make sure that my photo as close to what it's going to look like um, as a final result so that I don't have to spend much time post-processing and so that I can deliver the photos as fast as possible to my clients. So there is, and that's right, I get multiple copies of the same photo making sure that it's crisp and super in focus and then the expression is just the way the person is going to love it um, and the angle is perfect. So. A slight shift in my position is going to make a very different photo and my client definitely will love something that they look better in so like what's the point of my clients seeing thousands of images and just feeling overwhelmed by all of them reason number two is that viewing raw files requires a special software and a lot of people will not have the software so there is basically no even reason for people to get the files and not be able to see them because most of the softwares that you have on your computer will not be able to display the raw file so that basically defeats the whole purpose of having the file so that's reason number two reason number three <laughs> is that in order for me to deliver raw files it will require an extra step for me to to do it currently this is not in my workflow and if for some reason the industry standard changes i will be totally okay with adding this step to my workflow and incorporating it into calculating of how much time it takes me to process the wedding and how i need to price myself I will be totally okay with this. Currently, this is not a standard, so it's not in my workflow. So if I have to add raw files to being delivered to my client, this is going to take me more time to go copy everything, make sure that everything is there, package it up, go to the post office, email clients, and making sure everything is uh, shipped the way it should be. So that will take more time if i have to spend extra time not what is expected for me for my normal workflow i will have to charge my clients more because this is not the standard thing that comes with a collection that i'm selling to my clients so that's extra cost and if someone wants that i will absolutely do that for them i am not the photographer who tries to cover up my profiles or like hide them. I don't see the reason why someone wouldn't be allowed to look at them. I'm okay with people seeing them. This is, well, that's right, they're raw. And after post-processing, they're going to be my photos that I produce. So it's just like 
this is what the camera took with I mean with the knowledge because I mean I am trying to get them as close to good and perfect as possible but they still require post processing so um I don't see the reason why I would be scared of showing my raw files to my clients but yes it will require more time and this is not a standard for me to do so yes I will have to charge more my clients and number four and the final reason is that it will require extra equipment for me to deliver the files as I have mentioned this is not a normal part of my workflow so I do not have ex extra external hard drive extra humongous USB drive because it's like 100 gig more than 100 gigabytes of memory that will have to be transferred over to my client which is a lot of memory I don't even know um, if the USB of that size exists maybe are there 120 gigabyte USB drives possibly basically I would have to get a separate piece of equipment USB or external hard drive that I would need to purchase which is again cost added to my business which everything is pretty calculated with what I do I know I'm not perfect and not no business owner is perfect because life is not perfect you cannot calculate and account for everything but I do have a pretty good idea of how much time I spend for each wedding how much uh, built in built in static whatever cost the permanent cost goes into each wedding and how much flexible cost goes in into wedding approximately and um, extra USB drive of that size which will be expensive or extra external hard drive is not part of my cost so this would be an extra so if someone would love to have raw files I've had a few clients who are photographers or who are interested in photography and they did ask me would we be able to have raw files and I tell them absolutely and they will cost this much because of extra equipment and extra time that I will have to spend and that's the way that goes I hope that was a good answer to potentially question that you might have had and if you have any other questions feel free to message me uh, on social media or leave me a comment below this video and i would love to answer your question thank you so much for hanging out with me have a wonderful day i hope to see you in my next video Bye bye